going to show you how to candle eggs. So um, generally you candle your eggs um, around day 14, um, about a week into the incubation period for chickens. So, so the 21 day incubation period. Um, I am at day 10. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. But anyways, it says day 10. So I'm a little late. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, I've never had you know, eggs exploding and or that uh, sort of thing uh, due to being rotten. Um, but I likely will find uh, some that aren't uh, developing. Maybe none of them are developing. I don't know. This is my first round of eggs from my Shana Claire's. I don't even know if they're all fertilized. Um, but we'll see. And I'll see if I can show you the process. Um, so I'm going to turn the light out now and we'll see if we can uh, record any of this. Alright, I'm going to try and show you um, some eggs here, and I candled one of them, and you won't be able to tell the difference until we find one that uh, uh, has nothing in it, but this one looks good actually. Um, it's solid black, I can't see anything coming out of it, um, so that means there's likely something developing in there. If it is uh, clear, that one's solid black too, that is great. If it is clear, it'll shine orange. Um, now that one is a bit more... Oh, no, I see the shadow. Now, I don't know if you can see the shadow there. There's kind of a line. You probably can't see that, but there's a line at the center. If you rotate it, you can sort of see the shadow. So there's something developing in there. So far, so good here. Yeah, that one's solid too. And again, you probably can't see a lot, but uh, if I get a dud, I'll show you. That one looks good too. That's amazing. Alright, here's a big fat one. Alright, so I don't know if you can see well. Can you, can you see the orange there? So the, the bright orange means there's nothing in there. But on this one, if I rotate it, I do see a dark spot. And this guy was one day late. Uh, yeah, one late. So I'm, I'll am i probably keep it in there. I do see a dark spot on the far side here. So I'll keep that in there and we'll see if anything develops. So some of these guys are farther along. Now this one, again, I don't know if you can see it. There's On the end, this is the air sac. I'm going to find out once I replay this video, but the end is the air sac, and um, it's lighter orange, and then the rest of it is dark, so all my eggs are solid, so this actually looks really good um, in terms of uh, potential viability. I'll turn the light back on here. So I hope you could see that. Um, they all looked very good. They're, they all looked quite solid, except this big one was uh, the least solid. Um, but it was one day late. See, I have the uh, the one L there, and I have a two L and uh, three L. So these ones I put in later, so they're they're a couple days behind. Um, but the rest all started at the same time, basically. So um, that is good news. I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna check the water here, and I see water there, so I don't need to fill it now. Put this back on so it can warm up, and uh, I do have this on auto turn. And what I've been doing is I've been, uh, I have it in my basement on top of the freezer. Now the freezer isn't cold cold, but the lid is a little bit cold, so I put it on top of this cardboard here. Because um, when I left it on there, it didn't seem warm enough, and actually the, the display was warning that the temperature was low, so I put this blanket over it. This just keeps it a bit warmer, because it is cooler downstairs in the basement here. And uh, the, the blanket on top just kind of helps it do its thing a bit, a bit easier. Uh, more easily, um, a bit more efficient that way. So um, hopefully you saw that in the dark videos. Uh, I'm going to go back and check it out now, but uh, that's how you do it. Now I just have, this is just a, a LED pen light, uh, something with fresh batteries so it's nice and bright. You just stick that right up against the uh, eggshell um, in a dark room or a, a, um, you know, a darkened room or something. It doesn't have to be pitch black. Um, but basically, if the egg shines through bright orange, and you can try this with one of your uh, eggs in your fridge, for example, that you bought from the grocery store. If 
shines uh, through bright orange, then um, there's there's nothing developing there. Uh, if it's uh, darker, or half of it's uh, dark, or it's uh, a full solid dark, um, that means you've probably got something uh, growing in there. And there's quite a difference between the ones that aren't fertilized and the ones that are fertilized, because you will see, uh, like I say, a big difference. One will be bright orange, and the other will be uh, will be dark, and the light won't shine through it. So uh, that's how you candle your eggs. Um, you can buy um, egg candlers from Brincy, uh, for example, that are a bit fancier. Um, you kind of look through a little eye hole. It's almost like um, uh, you know a magnify a microscope or something. Um, and they're a bit easier to operate, but uh, you know, an LED flashlight uh, works just fine um, as long as you know what you're looking for. So that's how you do it. Over.